today I'm gonna be installing this carbon fiber duck belt on my Mazda Miata ND2. This is a carbon fiber handmade. If you guys are interested, it will be linked down below. Well, then look at this. Dang, a handcraft duck belt, guys. The fitment, I already test fitted the fitment and it was pretty good. You guys can get it from yellow carbon, this carbon fiber. You guys can also get it in the fiberglass. So, yes, guys, anyways, that's all for the video. So, what you guys need beforehand it is the fishing line, a 19 mil, 3M tape, alcohol, and a towel. So one of the first step it is to remove the emblem. So technically you just use the fishing line and just kind of rub it inside here. And then there's 3M tape here and then there's also two holes right here. What I cover it with, I cover it with the electro tape so water won't get in. Technically you don't need Google on to remove these but I didn't have to use Google on so pretty much you don't need Google on to remove these adhesives. So the next step it is to remove the shark friend. At first I thought that it was stick by 3M tape but it is actually not. You have to remove a bolt from here. So once when you open the trunk, the bolt should be like right here. And then this is the 19 mil, like I said, and then you just untighten it and then the shark fin should come out. There should be this wire here to connect it to the shark fin and you just kind of like wiggle it out and then just take out the clip and then the whole thing should come out. So the next step is that you guys also want to clean like this part where the 3M tape is gonna go clean it with alcohol. And if it's like very bumpy or like not like flying it out, then you guys can sand it out and then, you know, just clean it good and then put 3M tape on it. So when put on the 3M tape, I recommend you guys putting the foam that came with the duck belt under here so you guys won't scratch your guys' duck belt. Unless if you guys want to be scratched, then feel free to put it on the concrete or anything that is dirty, you know? So I am done putting it on the 3M tape so it took me about like 20 minutes just to put everything in because I've cut little pieces like this and put them in there too so yeah and now we just put them on all right guys so I finally got it installed I didn't really push this like back down so like the fin is not the best but if you push it all the way down because I still have like a little bit of like gap here but I was just installing it myself, so I was just kind of like eyeballing it and feeling it. This side is the same thing too. If if I was to put this like back a little bit more, then it would sit like flush. So technically it is flush, but you just gotta know how to install it. I already test drove it with this wing and it seems like it's not going off, even though there's like a huge gap right here, but it's pretty sturdy. So it does look a little bit funky right now because it is still on stock wheels and stock high and no diffuser. So once when I put coilover on, wheels on, and diffuser on, then the back should look a little bit better because right now it is still too high. So it looks a little bit funky with the duck belt. But this is kind of like the Aim King duck belt. So yeah, but this is like pretty expensive too. And it's real carbon fiber and fiberglass. So be careful when you're installing it. Just don't drop it because it can crack. But this is the build as of now. And then the front looks pretty good now already. We're just gonna lower it. So you guys are probably wondering, Jimmy, what is this big hole right here? So technically this hole is from the shark fin. So if you install this duck bill, you guys are gonna have to remove the shark fins. But then there is a solution to this. You guys could either put electro tape on it or you guys can buy an aftermarket trim right here and place it here. I believe that there is an aftermarket trim, which I'm gonna order it. But for now, I'm just gonna put electro tape on it so no water will come inside my, into my trunk. All right guys, so this will be the end of the video. And if you guys did find this video informative, or helpful or entertained make sure to smash the like button and subscribe you know consider checking out my channel if you guys like any of my content consider subscribing and guys i will be posting more about this Mazda miata so stay tuned in this channel make sure to subscribe and yes guys anyways i'll catch you guys on another video so dream big and inspired